Hey guys, now let us look at the solution to question 4 part C. Here it states a line segment GH has an equation 3x plus 2y equal 15. Part 1, they're asking us to determine the gradient of GH, okay? And that's an easy one mark. Now here they gave us a general equation, okay? Now we know, okay, based on what you would have learned from previous lessons, that the equation of a straight line, okay, is y is equal to mx plus c, okay, where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. Now, in this case, they have given us the equation, okay, which is 3x plus 2y equal to 15. Now, really, what we're doing, the whole idea is to write this equation in the general form, of the equation of a straight line which is this form here y equal mx plus c so basically what i'm going to do i'm just simply going to make y the subject okay my friends so basically if you notice we have a 3x here i need to have the y alone over on this side so i'm going to have to subtract 3x from both sides so i'll have 3x minus 3x okay plus 2y plus 2y the 2y that we have there is equal to 15 okay my friends minus if you notice we subtracted 3x there so we're going to have to do it over here okay so basically we know now that 3x here will cancel out with a 3x there so we're left with 2y over on this side is equal to 15 minus 3x okay so we're, we have it here and, and I'm just going to switch this around so that the x comes at the front like how we have it there in the general equation okay so I'm going to put the minus 3x first and then I'm going to put the positive 15 at the back there okay my friends just write in its general form now from here my friends if you notice I need to make y the subject we need to have y alone here so I am going to have to divide through by 2 since 2 is multiplying y okay so what I do to one side of my equation I have to do it to the other side of my equation so 2 will cancel 2 leaving us with a y here let's just change the color oops so we have a y here okay and this is equal to if you notice here I have a 2 a common denominator of 2 so what I'm going to do I'm going to share the 2 with my two terms in my numerator so for example I'll have a negative 3x upon 2 okay and then I'll have plus 15 15 upon 2 okay so here they ask us to determine the gradient of the straight line of gh the line segment and based on our initial expression our initial equation our line in its general form we said that the gradient is m so what we're going to do here we're going to look at the coefficient of the x here in in when we when in this equation where we have written written it in its general form so m here my friends would be equal which is the gradient negative 3 upon 2 and that would be our answer okay that would be our answer for part 1 now in part 2 they're stating that a line let, let's just pause and split the screen so we have a little bit more space to work with now my friends they're saying that another line segment JK is perpendicular to GH and passes through the point 4 1 okay now they're asking us to determine the equation of the line JK and that's a easy three marks now I'm just going to show you point out a few little pointers very important notes all right if a line is perpendicular to another line then the gradient is the negative reciprocal of that line and what do we mean by that okay now basically what do I mean is that if a line for any two lines that are perpendicular and let's make a note up here so my friends as I was saying before for any two lines that are perpendicular the gradient of the first line which is m1 and m subscript 1 simply means the gradient of the first line multiplied by the gradient of the second line m2 subscript 2 is equal to negative 1 okay so that's just a little formula to work out the gradient for another line that is perpendicular to another okay all right so if you notice by using this this little formula if you notice the gradient of the first line they get we found that earlier to be m the gradient m is equal to negative 3 upon 2 so what we're going to say is negative 3 upon 2 
multiplied by m2 is equal to m subscript 2 okay and that would be equal to negative 1 and really my friends if you should by intuition um, we're trying to find the gradient of the second line so basically what this is saying here is that we are since negative 3 upon 2 is multiplying m then that simply means we are going to have to divide both sides of our equation by negative 3 upon 2 okay so I will have to divide this side also by negative 3 upon 2, okay? So this one will cancel out with that one, okay, my friends? So basically what we'll have left here is M2, this, the, line, the gradient of the second line must be equal to, and you know that negative 1 would be would change the division sign to multiplication, and we're multiplying by, by negative 2 upon 3. Basically, you flip the fraction at the back, okay? So basically what we would have here is the gradient for the second line, which is M2, must be equal to negative 1 times a negative 2 upon 3. A negative times a negative would give me a positive 2 upon 3. So this would be the gradient. Oops. This would be the gradient for the line that is perpendicular to that line. Okay. I've just shown you the working out, the calculations here. However, a quicker way of doing it is that as I've stated before is that the gradient of a first line is the negative reciprocal of, a ne of another line that is perpendicular to it so basically what you could have done you could have just took the gradient of this line that we found here okay you could have just took the gradient you could have just flip it so when you flip 3 upon 2 you would get 2 upon 3 you'd really get 2 upon 3 and you change the sign okay so if it's negative here, this would become positive, okay? So this would be the gradient for M2. That's another way of looking at it, okay, my friends? Okay, good. So you notice it's the same thing we have there. So here, they're saying that, as we have stated, another line, JK, is perpendicular to GH and passing through the point for 1, determine the equation of the line, JK. We have found the gradient, and remember, the general equation of a line is Y is equal to M x plus c now we have found m here m is 2 upon 3 because it's perpendicular so the gradient we flip it and we change the sign it's a negative reciprocal now my friends we need to find the y intercept okay so to complete the equation of the line now what we're going to have to do they gave us a point that the line passes through it passes through 4 1 so i am going to have to take that point which is 4 comma 1 okay and I'm going to substitute it in this equation to find that so this would be my x value okay that would be my y value so basically my y value here in this coordinate would be 1 so I'm going to place the 1 there is equal to my gradient m we found m2 to be 2 upon 3 2 upon 3 of x multiplied by x and our x was 4 there okay my friends so we have a 4 plus or c okay now let's just quickly um clean this up here we would have a one is equal to and let's just change the color a bit one is equal to two times four that will give me a eight upon three okay eight upon three uh, plus my C okay now basically if you notice we are going to have to subtract 8 upon 3 from both sides of our equation okay my friends so over here we are going to say 1 to transpose or to find the value of C we would have to say 1 minus 8 upon 3 is equal to C okay so this would be 1 upon 1 all right so basically we would go ahead and find the LCD let's just pull this up a bit so we have a little bit more space to work with okay so here my friends we would say find the LCD the LCD is 3 okay the lowest common denominator so 3 is our LCD so we'd say 1 into 3 goes 3 times and 3 ones is 3 3 into itself goes once, 1 times 8 is 8, okay? So really, this is equal to 3 minus 8. That will leave us with a negative 5 upon 3. So therefore, therefore, my C, my C, my y-intercept is equal to negative 5 upon 3, okay? They had asked us to determine the equation of the line, okay, my friends? So to write the equation of the line, now we're going to say the general form, let's just put it here. I'm just going to put our answer in this box, which is the equation of the straight line. 
Now we know that the general form is y is equal to mx plus c. That's the equation of a straight line. Now we found the gradient, okay? So we're going to say y is equal to the gradient, which we found earlier is 2 upon 3x, okay? And we found the y-intercept here, down here, to be negative 5 upon 3. And that would be our answer, okay, my friends, for part 2. It's pretty much like that. Feel free, however, to leave a comment or ask a question if you're still not sure, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye-bye.